Hi, it's Laker, and I'm going to be explaining to you how to make a half-range vortex in your pool. You're going to need food coloring and a plate. Let's get started. So I'm going to put the plate into the water and slowly move forward. Get over here. Read on that. You have to be closer. The vortex is going to be here. Okay, so now I'm going to put the plate in the water and move it slowly forward. We're also going to be putting food coloring in. Hope you can see that. We may need to, I'm going to make a stronger vortex so we can see it, but as you can see, the food coloring is making a half circle. My brother's gonna make a stronger vortex by pushing harder on the plate. Okay, let's go. Whoa. Oh, beautiful. Can you see that? Looking good. There is a tube under there. Well, it's actually not a tube, but there is it, it actually a vortex looks, under there. It looks legit. It is legit, Rena. That's pretty good. We're gonna do an army of them. Okay, so to demonstrate the uh, pull on the water that the vortex is actually having, I'm gonna put some food coloring in the water, not in the vortex. And hopefully this works, but hopefully the vortex should pick up the food coloring as if we had put it in the vortex. So let's go. Do this. So I'm going to put a little food coloring in the water, make a vortex, there it goes. See that? Now I'm going to just put a bunch of drops of blue food coloring and just let it do its thing without making a vortex. Thanks for watching. And if you want to do this experiment at your house, I highly recommend it. It's very fun and comment down below and tell us how it went. Thanks for watching, and if you want to try this experiment, um, let's do this again. What am I gonna say? Hello, camera. I know what you're thinking. I know what you're seeing. You're seeing my colorful hands. Perfect. Whatever.